Well, if you sit back and think about it, what really makes Idaho, Idaho? Well, we think it's the people. Yeah, we love the vast mountain ranges and the beautiful flowing rivers, but we think it's the individuals with unique stories that really set the 208 apart. And who we love to showcase here on the 208 is the people of the 208. That's why we call it the 208 after all. And boy, do we meet some really great people this year. Many of them made us laugh, some raised an eyebrow, a few made us even cry. Today, Kevin Esslinger put together a very special look at the people we met in 2023. A lot has been made about what it means to be an Idahoan. Break the orange and blue. From your point of origin. Farsi, yeah. To your perspective. A uh, graduate art school project run amok. But we found it doesn't really have much to do with either of those things. How insignificant we are as human beings on this planet. In 2023, we met several artists like Scott Yarnell. So this is a material called a Lucaban. The builder of Boise's pale blue dot structure scaling sculpture. This um, need for connection between human beings, they're why we need to uh, remember that we have more in common than we do, you know, that divides us basically. And Boris Garabian. Oh, I love Idaho landscape. A refugee from the Soviet Union. You have the mountains, you have the rivers, you have the lakes. Who found refuge in his art. It's a feeling open. It's open area, you know, it's like ocean. You can see ocean, it's open. And recently opened his first gallery in Meridian. Oh, it's something here inside told me you have to pay. I come in here and the uh, refugee talk, 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 talk. And we met other artists who are inspired by each other. The shoulder. The classes last three hours, shelter. but what they take Our away buildings. lasts a lot longer. Connection, healthy connections. Which is why they call themselves artisans for hope. The combination of working together creates hope. Hope we found. Class of 23. Yes with Midvale's graduating class. How many are graduating with you? Uh, eight. Just eight? Just eight. Four girls and four boys. And Boise's grand graduating class of 528. Do you know everybody? I would say I recognize majority of the people could put a name on probably over half. In facing our future. I think we've kind of ha have found this middle ground. We also learned from our past. The shame and the humiliation of being incarcerated because of what you look like it has to be absolutely devastating. From those who don't want to let go of it just yet. When you have the 300 seat theater and it's full and something happens on the screen, the people do this or, you know, they're just laughing and stuff, you know, they just, it's just fun, fun to watch the audience reactions. I wonder how many people from the highway here noticed this. That dichotomy was on display with the animals we met, too. They seem to know what they're doing. Those Ospreys building for the next generation in Eagle. We've seen a lot of construction in Ada County in the last few years, and this is probably one of the nicer ones for us. You know. <laughs> and that fish, just one fish returned to Redfish. You're just one fish. They called him Lonesome Larry which was almost the last generation, but brought back an entire species. We're glad to see him back and hopefully some others. From way back. And he was the catalyst that certainly brought an awful lot of attention um, to the plight of, of Redfish Lake Sockeye. What about way, way back? So he's just a little long-tailed dog-sized dinosaur. We met the newest state symbol, thanks to some of our youngest Idahoans. And that is a bunch of fourth graders. Fourth graders yeah. who lobbied legislators and wrote letters. In their very, very best handwriting, and their very best English, they stated why the state of Idaho needed a state dinosaur. I live in Bonneville County, which is where the dinosaur, Erectodromius, was discovered. We met oddballs. It's gonna get real weird over here. With giant eyeballs. My dad contacted me and said, hey, do you need this big ocean buoy? And I was like, absolutely. Um, I knew right away I was gonna make a giant eyeball. And those Did we know the fight song? With great lungs, nobody seemed to know the words very well. <laughs> some of us did. <laughs> and certainly some of us will never forget them after seeing it for 24 hours. Even 20 years later. Go Big Blue! Go Orange! Go Big Blue! To be an Idahoan 
The record before was 64. My goal was 100. Sometimes means you're unable to sit still. I hit kind of a wall around 30 jumps or so. But it also means... And I was alone and Harry Potter was on TV. You're just as comfortable on the couch. And I pulled out the chips and I pulled this one out and I went, wow, this looks really a lot like the state of Idaho. We met some of Idaho's oldest. I don't mind telling my age now. <laughs> who also happened to be. That's me with my friend. We used to fly together quite a bit. Some Gem State originals, like what 105-year-old Elaine yeah, McCallie did 83 here. years ago, becoming the first woman in Idaho. Has commercial pilot's license. <laughs> to get a commercial pilot's license. The first one. That's what they told me, so I don't know. I guess I did. <laughs> We learned about some of Idaho's other firsts. The first computers in Boise City. This was the very first time I ever touched a computer. Go! And even some of our seconds. Come on, guys! In a turd herding yeah. contest. So you're number two. I, unfortunately, this time I was number two. But that's fitting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and some. Probably get distracted, be like, why is there a train there? Who were just fine bringing up the rear. It is expensive yard art. While we certainly met a lot of interesting Idahoans in 2023, we also said goodbye to a few. But if you saw Larry Gebert or Jim Duthie out on a live shot somewhere, you likely saw Teresa there too. Like one of our own, photographer Teresa Palmgren. She would probably be the nicest person you ran into that day. and one of our most respected state leaders. Order! Arts! A small man, but a big heart. Former Governor Phil Batt. He's what we think Idaho should be. Idaho's champion of civil rights. There won't be another one. There will never be another Phil Batt, ever. Passed away on his 96th birthday. What are you gonna remember most? You know, his, his kindness. He made you feel good. He always made you feel like you were part of the family. And that was special. Okay, tuck it in in the back. Bus Hudson's family? Your hands are cold. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they celebrated his 100th birthday in April. Dad, oh, yeah, this is now. Tim, the chaplain. Only to say goodbye to the World War II veteran. I was a uh, cowboy in army uniform, but I'll tell you one thing, I was a damn good soldier. Just three months later. I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> There's no better way to wrap up a year or what it means to be an Idahoan than what we learned from those we met. You know, they say that uh, time really flies when you're having fun. We must have had a hell of a lot of fun because time sure got away with us. Why we need to uh, remember that we have more in common than we do, you know, that divides us basically. <laughs> That's the message that we can continue to take into the new year. A huge thank you to everyone who we got to know this year and to all of you who watch the 208. Text us, write in, email in, and those of you who trust us with your news, we're so happy to bring it to you just before five o'clock every single weekday. And we're excited to see who we meet in 2024. We'll be right back.